We're covering Metro, and right now riders are seeing half-hour delays because of single tracking between Stadium Armory and Addison Road. That's because of a power problem at the same area of track that saw a fire on Monday. Facebook is not getting a like from some Republicans. They're accusing the social media site of having a bias about what stories are trending. The showdown raises questions about First Amendment rights and free speech. Can Congress dictate how social media companies such as Facebook present current events? National correspondent Jeff Barn talked exclusively to one lawmaker who's demanding answers. Near Oslo, Norway, two passenger trains collided early this morning. Four people died, 30 others were injured. Authorities say one of the trains was on the wrong track. The Supreme Court says the First Amendment does not permit people to break the law in the name of religious freedom, ruling the First Amendment does not apply to the religious use of drugs. Here's the metro weather forecast through tomorrow night. Clear and colder with broken clouds. Highs in the 50s, lows around 35, with freezing temperatures in the outlying regions. Right now, sunny and mild and 53 degrees. Buy a brick and mail it to Washington. Other experts say not so fast. Life-saving drugs need to be rushed to market. Iran says it will ignore the UN. Are they behind the missile firings? The House approving a $463.5 billion spending bill. So how did a $45 million indoor rainforest research project in Iowa get in there? I called every member of the Iowa congressional delegation to ask about the rainforest project. Democrats are out of town on a retreat. Republicans weren't available, and most senators aren't talking. With so much going on this weekend, top off your list with comedian Margaret Cho, who's performing tonight at 7.30 at the Warner Theater. She's adding to her star power with a music video, and of course, we all rooted for her on Dancing with the Stars. Margaret Cho joins me now on The Trending Show. You've been very busy with this tour. Where all have you been and where are you going? Um, we've been touring all over North America, all over Canada. You've also got a music video out called I'm Sorry. That's terrific. You know, there are so many serious issues we've got to deal with. The way you work this through with the music video. You're also uh, very active with the Logo Channel, Mac Cosmetics, yes. all the, the things that they stand for, including the bullying, which has been in the headlines a lot recently and yes. for good reason. Well, my, my um, final dance on Dancing with the Stars was really um, a huge nod to gay pride and uh, reaching out to gay teens who feel out Outs, like outsiders who feel alienated, who feel alone. And last month, Jim, MI5 Director General Jonathan Evans made a rare public speech on this topic. He has grave concerns about what he calls state-sponsored cyber espionage. Do you share those concerns? Absolutely. Another week, another breach. Hackers traced to China targeted tens of thousands of federal employees who applied for top secret security clearance. What can you tell us about the investigation? What I can tell you the most important piece is that no personal identification information was, uh, was uh, compromised. 